January 6, 2021. Uh, we know now that this is has been completely overblown and so many grave, serious questions have not been answered. Like, why did so many cops let people inside? Why are so many people in jail who didn't hurt anybody or break anything? So Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, she was a brand new member of Congress on this day. And her whereabouts are totally accounted for. Uh, she was in a room with uh, many other members. She wasn't doing anything. However, she has been labeled by some an insurrectionist. And they want to use that label, insurrectionist, as a tool to keep her off the ballot when she's up for re-election. It seems totally crazy to me, but the effort has gained some momentum. First, let's welcome back Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican from Georgia. Welcome back. How are you, Congresswoman Greene? Hi, Greg. Thanks for having me on tonight. You bet. You bet. So look, when I first heard about this a while back, I didn't really worry about it. It seemed far-fetched, but I see a judge has kind of given this thing the green light. Are you worried? And who the heck has the legal authority to label you falsely an insurrectionist? Well, I think that's the most shocking part about it. Uh, I've never been charged. I've never been convicted. I've never even been accused. I've never been questioned by the January 6th committee or anyone else about about my actions and and what role I played on January 6th because everyone knows the truth. Everyone knows as a member of Congress, I was involved in the electoral count as all of us were. And all I did was object to a few states uh, for Joe Biden objected to his electoral college vote. Well, apparently this uh, funded attorney group who is from New York and Massachusetts and ironically, they're called free speech for people, which I find hilarious uh, as they're trying to take this effort to take my name off the ballot, rip it off the ballot and steal my district's ability to be able to reelect me, which they very much want to do. So these are people that hate. They hate the people in my district. They hate the way I fight for the things that we care about, like secure borders, ending abortion, protecting our Second Amendment a strong American economy and energy independence for America, not dependency on China. Um, but these are the things they hate about me because these are the things that they usually fund, like voting for illegals. And then they fund this group, Free Speech for People. Well, here's the funny thing about it, Greg. Out of, se out of over 700,000 people in my district, they found five voters that were willing to do this. And one of them happens to be the Democrat district chair for my district. So you can see this is nothing but a political witch hunt. And it's absolutely insane that I'm having to do this. Well, if they try to stop you this way, they're going to try to stop President Trump. Uh, obviously, uh, that will be next. I don't think they're going to succeed. Again, even though there's uh, you talk about this in the Constitution, labeling you an insurrectionist, quite frankly, is uh, would be a lie. I know uh, plenty about this. And uh, we the January 6th committee has even looked at you and it's just not there. And you didn't do that. By the way, though, do you think part of this comes from you've been outspoken about impeaching Joe Biden? I think you uh, you, you raised articles uh, months ago. If Republicans take control, impeachment could happen and you'd be leading that charge. Do you think that's part of this? Well, I'm sure they were very unhappy that on his inauguration day, I introduced articles of impeachment on Joe Biden because of the contents of Hunter Biden's laptop and the and the role that we know Hunter Biden and his father played uh, in, in corruption and business deals in Ukraine and China and elsewhere. And this makes uh, President Joe Biden compromised, and he should not be serving as president of the United States. So I'm sure they're very unhappy about that. And they know this, Greg. They know that Republicans are taking back the House in uh, next year after we win the elections in November because they don't have anything to run on. They're running on inflation, skyrocketing inflation, high gas prices, and an illegal invasion at the border. So they know we're winning, and they've seen me fight uh, when in the minority, and I think they're terrified of who I might be in the majority. So I need people to help me out. If anyone's willing to donate to mtgforamerica.com, I need help to defend myself against this witch hunt. MTGforamerica.com. It's right there on the screen. MTGforamerica.com. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 